Hey guys, welcome back to the Vape Diary. Today we're going to be taking a look at the rest of the e-liquids from Bloodline. Just to go back over a few things from last week's video, I did four flavors last week and if you want to check out that video, you are more than welcome to. I will put a link to that in the description below. But these are the Bloodline line of e-liquids. They have these really pretty splatter bottles. Also, they do look red, but there's no food coloring. It's just a colored bottle. The e-liquid is clear. Now these are, um, you can get them in 50-50 uh, more VG, which is just a higher VG ratio, or you can get them in max VG. They are $8 for a 15 ml bottle like this, $14 for a 30 ml, $36 for 100 ml, or $75 for 250 ml. And you can order them in 0, 1.5, 3, 6, or 12 milligrams. The flavors I reviewed in my last video are Blood vs. Blood, which is strawberry milk, um, berry blood is crunch berry, toucan blood is like a Fruit Loop cereal. And mermaid blood is like nectarine, strawberry, and a hint of menthol. And those are all pretty good, but like I said, if you want to check out those four flavors, they are in my video last week. And today we're going to be doing the last four flavors plus the other flavor that they sent me to try out. So the first flavor we are going to start off with is monster blood. And this is a cantaloupe, mango, and papaya. And also these bottles are plastic sealed. We had to pull this off, and they are childproof caps. Okay, let's try out some monster blood. I do get the mango and papaya right up front, and this has like the really tropical taste. The cantaloupe is kind of like just there for a sweetness, it's kind of an aftertaste. I mean, cantaloupe isn't really, to me, a super strong flavor on its own, but this is definitely a really great tropical flavor. I could definitely see this being like a great spring or summer vape, you know, like sitting on the beach vaping away on this would be really awesome. Definitely a great fruit vape, and it's a really bright flavor. And now I say like cantaloupe is a light flavor, and I just mean cantaloupe in general, like all of these e-liquids have really strong flavors, like I know some companies offer flavor shots so you can get more flavor, but I don't believe this company does and they definitely don't need it. They're really powerful flavors on their own. The next flavor is lizard blood. And this is raspberry, watermelon, and coconut. And the coconut smell is just like exuding from the bottle. And I know a lot of people don't like coconut and don't like coconut vapes, but I actually really love coconut in my vapes, so I'm probably gonna really like this flavor because it smells fantastic. I have to say these are honestly probably some of the most appealing e-liquids I've tried um, ever because they just have such really quality fruit flavors and almost everything in their line is a nice fruit flavor and they're all really strong fruit flavors that like, they taste pure like real fruit. The 
the raspberry and watermelon and coconut in this blend really beautifully together. The coconut isn't super strong, like some coconut vapes, but it just blends really well. And the watermelon kind of tastes like, if you've ever had like a watermelon drink, I know like some people make like watermelon lemonades or something, but just like a straight watermelon drink, it's kind of like that. It's a subtle sweetness. And the watermelon and the coconut really get rid of like the tartness of the raspberry, so you just get the flavor. It's also a really, really smooth vape. There's no throat hit on it, or at least that I'm not I'm not getting any. I mean these are in three milligrams. But there's really no throat hit. It's just a nice clean smooth vape and it's delicious. The next flavor I am really excited for, it's called Zombie Blood, and I am a huge zombie buff. I love zombie movies, I love zombie video games, um, I'm a huge fan of The Walking Dead, which I'm really excited for returning on Valentine's Day. And not only that, but this is a strawberry candy, which sounds amazing, so, Zombie Blood. Okay, definitely candy strawberry, but it kind of tastes like they used like their regular strawberry and then added something else to it because it, it's still, even with the candied flavor, it has kind of that real strawberry taste. It's a very interesting flavor. I'm trying to think of something to compare it to. Maybe like a strawberry lollipop, or like, hmm. Oh, you know like, <clears throat> those little strawberry candies? They're like hard candies, but they have kind of like a gel in the center. And they're wrapped in like a strawberry looking wrapper. I want to think they're kind of like an older candy, like something that maybe your grandmother would have or something in her purse. They like you never see where you can purchase them, but they exist and you know this because you've had them, but you've never seen them in the store. They're like that. Definitely super good. And the last flavor in the Bloodlines line is called Blood Money, which is milk and honey, which makes me giggle because it rhymes. But I've never had like a milk and honey vape, which honestly doesn't sound that appealing to me just because I don't really like milk or creamy vapes, but their strawberry milk was pretty good, so I'm going to hold out hope. Mm. Okay, definitely not really my flavor profile. I can see where people would enjoy this flavor because it is just like a nice sweet flavor, but I don't really like the milk flavor in it. The honey is good. Hmm. I mean, I've never had like milk and honey together, but it's definitely a spot on flavor. You can really pick out the milk and the honey together. It's really interesting. It's just not something that I would personally want to vape every day. Like I said, I can definitely see the appeal in it. It's just not my flavor profile. It's kind of like, with the heat from my vape, it almost tastes like kind of like a baked dessert kind of thing. Um, 
Like I've had some like creme brulees and stuff before that still weren't really my flavor profile. It's like they're not bad. I they're decent. I can sit there and vape them. It's just not really my thing. Okay, the last flavor I have today, which is not a bloodline flavor, but it's still from Vape Smoker and they sent it in the same package. It's called Nothing But Muffin. And this is a blueberry muffin. They do have a couple of other flavors that are not part of the Bloodlines line that I would recommend you checking out. But the blueberry muffin we are going to be trying right now. Definitely getting the nice like buttery rich muffin flavor with the hint of the blueberries. Now again, this really kind of isn't my flavor profile. It's still a decent flavor. I guess I've just kind of like moved away from more bakery-ish type flavors in my flavor profile. It's kind of changed over the time of vaping. And I really just kind of stick to fruit flavors now, but while this has blueberry in it, it's not a super strong blueberry. Um, it's definitely mixed with the muffin, which is fine, but I'm just not like a huge fan of the muffin flavor for my vape. I could, however, definitely vape any of their fruit flavors all day long, no question. Uh, they're super good. If you would like to check out any of the Bloodline e-liquids from Vape Smoker, or any of their other flavors, I would definitely recommend it. I'll put their link in the description below. They did also send me a couple of these stickers in my package, which I love stickers. Um, I have like a whole horde of stickers that I've been collecting for a while. So that was really cool, but definitely check them out. Thank you guys so much for joining me this week on The Vape Diary. If you like these videos, please subscribe. It would help my channel out a lot and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.